Oh, the drama, the drama, the drama. This drama has different tentacles. There's a popular saying that actually says, um, you're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. Now, in my opinion, Jade Osa is one of the best Nigerian YouTubers on YouTube. She's very critical. She's um, analytical. You can actually see her mind working whenever she's trying to present her argument. And um, intellectuals will find her entertaining, um, educative, logical. They'll be able to follow her thought process from A to Z. Now, that's what we actually want from any commentator. As a social commentator, she's commented on several issues. Most times, Jade plays within the bounds of diplomacy. So you rarely catch her saying things she shouldn't say or actually fault her for saying things or she gets in trouble for saying them. Now, the latest drama unfolding on YouTube is because Jade, how dare Jade? have a different opinion to majority of Maureen's followers. It's amazing really because we are all different human beings. We shouldn't all agree on the same thing. We shouldn't all dance to the same drum or to the beat of the same drum. That's why we are unique individuals. We are with the ability to actually think for ourselves. So because everybody is shouting A, doesn't mean we all sh should shout A. In her video, Jade said over and over again that she did not watch the Maureen's and Stephanie's interview in real time. She caught up on the interview. Um, so those castigating her for not asking questions during the interview clearly did not watch her video because if they had done that they would have um, heard her saying over and over again that she did not watch the interview in real time actually she watched the interview twice so she can better understand what was said and in the manner of which it was said no one watches Maureen's video twice because of the length of the video so for someone to actually sit down for more than three hours each to watch the video again that should tell you this person is actually doing this so she understand what's going on not so that she will castigate or blacklist anyone she just wanted to know exactly what was said and how would you fault somebody for that no Jade clearly said it over and over again i did not watch the interview in real time so people calling to ask why didn't you ask the turbo question here's my question for you english comprehension eh how are you surviving on this earth without understanding things how now the main issue according to maureen scholars anyway was the audacity the effrontery jane had to actually question Otobo. I'm beginning to wonder what kind of people we are actually breeding because on one hand um, we claim to be free thinkers but our actions betray us. You cannot be a free thinker and then question someone else for questioning something. Do you understand? As intellectuals, we're supposed to engage, interact, question. That is how you learn. You're not questioning for just information's sake. You're also questioning to get a balanced idea of what is going on. Jade's reservation, which actually happens to be my reservation as well, was why did Stephanie say she didn't want to talk to Dr. Chidi? Or why did she say she didn't want to have anything to do with Dr. Chidi without explaining her reasons for saying so? I don't see how that is an issue. I mean, we just want to know her intention. What prompted her to make such declaration? I don't want to have anything with, to do with Dr. Chidi of worship media when during the 2017 2018 we all saw this we all know how far dr chidi went to provide support for stephanie himself and the wife they did more for stephanie than any blogger 
With his help, she recorded and released her single, I Depend On You. Dr. Chidi and the wife provided lots of support for Stephanie. After she confessed, right, that she was um, sent by politician to bring Apostle down, she didn't stop there. She went further to say she was coerced into saying what she said. Can you imagine the backlash from such comments? Can you imagine how Dr. Chidi felt because when I heard her saying, oh, she was coerced into saying what she said, my mind automatically went to Dr. Chidi. Again, she failed to provide explanation as to why she made that statement. And now again, she's trying to repeat history by throwing this guy under the bus. And that was clearly Jade's sentiment, which actually any logical person should ask. Why are you saying this without providing more explanation? And this is social media, which whatever you say, even when you are saying things in full, people still run around and twist it and come with some weird conclusion. Not to talk of when you leave the statement hanging. What did you feel was going to happen? As in people just go gloss over it and go, oh, okay, that is fine. So... A lot of people actually felt Dr. Chidi did something wrong to Stephanie. Now, Dr. Chidi had to even call into the live show to clear himself. As in, to the best of his knowledge, he's done nothing to this girl. He doesn't know of any grievances or whatever would prompt her to make such a statement. Stephanie Otobo is making it hard over and over again for people to provide help for those that really need help. Now, after coming out with this new revelation, she didn't come out to apologize. She didn't apologize to people that supported her during her troubles in 2017, 2018. She just came, laughed, brought up her explanation and feels people should actually accept that. Now, Lady T of Two True Dreams actually made some outstanding analysis of what is going on and i don't blame her i actually support her thinking as well now these are the two people that have not supported um stephanie tobo's sudden appearance claiming wolf again now dr chidi that supported you he supported you and now you're coming claiming, oh, you don't want to talk to him. You don't want to have anything to do with him. Now, when Stephanie Otobo said, I think in the interview, there was a part where she said, oh, she called um, Linda Ikeji. She called so many other bloggers and no one answered her. Nobody will answer you, girl, because the one that actually provided you support, how did you pay him back? why are we not thinking people why are we not thinking we must not all dance to the same drum beat we must not all like the same thing we must not all wear the same thing dr chili had to come up with a video explaining himself but should he which of you out there would be happy if this was done to you i mean put yourself in his shoes would you be happy how about his family? I mean, it wouldn't take Stephanie 60 seconds to say, because Dr. Chidi did A, B, and C, that's why I don't want to have anything to do with him. But she provided no explanation. So people started speculating. And that was what prompted the poor man to come out to clear his name. She keeps giving him reason to actually regret helping her or regret coming across her. On Maureen's platform, we call ourselves lovers of truth. But are we lovers of truth or lovers of our own opinion? Because as I see, whenever our opinion clashes with other people's, there's a problem. It shouldn't be. Jane's opinion are hers, my opinions are mine, and Lady T's opinions are hers. Maureen's supporters calling out Jade have no right we cannot all think alike perhaps before you go judging her watch her full video 
She said it several times that she believed Stephanie but only felt the hanging statement allows for wrong conclusion. If anything, Stephanie owes us an apology. Yes, she had no choice but to apologize to the apostle. But come on now, people. Acting like nothing happened and we should just accept what you're saying now, hook, like, and sinker, is kind of troubling. I'm ashamed of those calling demanding an apology from Jade or that she should take down her video. Just like you have your own opinion, Jade too has her own opinion. We are stronger together when we have different perspectives, not when we all think alike. How do we then challenge each other? Where is the value in your thinking? Where is the value in my thinking if I just take everything you say without asking questions? Jade is asking questions in order to gain an insight that can help her better understand Stephanie's action. Knowledge is having the right answer. Intelligence, on the other hand, is asking the right questions. To understand, to understand one side is to have knowledge, but to know both is to have wisdom. That way you can have a balanced perspective, you can have a balanced view of a situation, not just one dimensional. I honestly wish I have crayons to explain this to you lot. Unfortunately, I don't. Anyway, till I come your way again, ta-ta!